Hello, I'm April Slocum, and today I'm going to show you how to do rotoscoping in Adobe Photoshop. I'm going back a few frames to show you what I've already done. If I go back to this frame, I will show you how to trace over it to create my own animation. First, if you want to zoom into a certain area, choose the magnifying glass tool. Move the mouse to your desired area and click to zoom in. If I go back to this frame, I can choose the eyedropper tool and pick a colour to trace over the video. I might as well zoom in to choose the right colour. I have selected the green, which is my outline colour. If I zoom out and go on to the next frame, and zoom in again, I can select the brush tool. I can use that to trace over the video. If I don't go over the outline exactly, I can erase it and try again because the tracing is on a separate layer from the video. I won't have to worry about damaging the video layer. If you continue tracing over the footage for now, I will show you the next steps. As you can see, I have already imported a video into Photoshop and I have shown you how to do this in my last tutorial. Examples of films that use this technique include A Scanner Darkly, Wake at Life and A Snack and Drink. I am tracing over my fingers right now because you can't see the rest of my hands that is off screen. So if I turn the onion skins on again later, I can see my hands on the previous layer through the layer I will work on to trace over the rest of my hands. Sometimes I want to switch off the video layer to see the outlines I've done so far. If I want to see the previous frame through this one, I click here and choose Enable Onion Skins. Now I can see the previous layer through this one. I can zoom in again and trace over the previous frame. I'm now tracing over my hand. And now I'm tracing over my top. I'm now switching off uh, the onion skins so I can continue tracing over the video. I'll finish uh, tracing over my hair so I can choose black. So I enter my face and trace over the pizza.
Next I have tracing over my facial features such as my lips. And my nose. I think I'll zoom into my eyes to trace over them more accurately. Now onto my eyebrows. I'll switch it off at the video again to check my outlines. I'll turn it on the other video layer again so I can return to the previous layer. Zoom in and choose my iris colour. Back to my current frame, I am drawing over each iris. Now I am filling in with the rest of my eyes. I've turned off for the video layer again. So I can go back to the last frame and choose colours to fill in the outlines on this frame. Might as well use a brush tool for my eyebrows. Now back to the paint bucket tool to fill in my lips. I will go over the corners with the brush tool. I'm zooming out again to switch the onion skins back on so I can trace over my hairlines. I'm switching off the onion skins again so I can easily pick the pizza colours from the last frame. I'm changing the brush colour to red and the brush as a, a splatter effect so I can zoom in and add detail to the pizza. Next I'm choosing the select tool, selecting the inside of a safe area, going back to the last frame, picking the background colour, Going back to the current frame and filling the selected area with the background colour. 
to the selector of the outline, hold on the command and D on the Mac, or control and D on the PC. To save your work, press that command and S on the Mac, or control and S on the PC. And there you have it, how to do rotoscoping in Adobe Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it. If you enjoyed uh, this tutorial, please give it a like. I also hope you found it useful. In another video, I will show you how to explore the animation. Thank you for watching. Bye.